Hi guys, it's Ricky and this is Ricky Reveals. So, who's Lawrence? Or does the Grand Dragon of this fucking secret society live in Lawrence, Indiana? But the name Lawrence is significant. Call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee. Psalms fifty fifteen. Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Ecclesiastes 11, 1. So, someone is born May 15th, and somebody's born November 1st, January 11th. Scorpio. Aquarius. There's an Aquarius Scorpio tie. There's an Aquarius and Scorpio that tagged up or teamed up together to do something to a Capricorn. You could have also got a Libra, a Gemini, and a Pisces to join in on the fun with the Taurus. I won't pull that one because I already have six out there, but Taurus is at the bottom. Or it could have been a Taurus throwing stones and hiding their hands and got these people to go up against a Capricorn. Oh, yeah. Open your heart and date night. Somebody's really like, I don't know if it's, <clears throat> I, I really am getting coward, coward energy, but someone is trying to manipulate brainwash. They're trying to manipulate you like through AI and other people while keeping their distance from you. They're trying to like get you to soften your heart or getting you. They're trying to like, I guess be 100% sure that you're not going to smack the fuck out of them when, <laughs> if they come and see you in person. Because they do want to come see you. They do want to talk to you. But they're afraid if they show up that you're going to... That you, you're going to not respond very well. Um, so they're using all forms of manipulation. Well, and they're watching you heavily. Make sure you're not in another commitment. And if you even, like, a guy even looks at you, like, for longer than two seconds, somehow, some way, this person knows how to get that, the person that was looking at you and track them down and tell them to leave you alone. This person won't talk to you, but they're talking to every, everybody else about you. But you're being protected by your guardian angels and your ancestors and the Most High God. Because they know that this person's a liar. And I think this group is starting to realize that this person lied on you too. You're about to have somebody who you 
either don't know or you had no clue had any involvement or any knowledge of what was going on, like what was happening to you. Uh, and they're about to come tell you some truth about the situation. Because they're, they're tired of this person. Do, like, for one, they're pissed off because this person actually manipulated them into believing whatever the lies were that they told. So they got this person that's going to come talk to you. They got them like, uh, all riled up and they got and got them involved in some way, shape, or form in the action that was taken against you. And the person knew when they decided to go against you that it wasn't a good idea and that they, it just, it wasn't set right with them. They just didn't like, they were like, this ain't right. I shouldn't be doing this or some, this person, something ain't right about their story. But for whatever reason, um, they went ahead and still made the choice to listen to whoever this is lying on you and they went and took whatever action against you or participated in this plot somehow. And, um, so when this person started to realize, cause the person that went like that spearheaded all this, that was lying on you, they did something or said something and to one person. And then turned around and did something and said something to someone else, not realizing that they, these two people knew each other. And, um, so, or maybe like a little bit of time had gone by and this liar forgot that they had told the person that's going to be coming to talk to you, forgot they had told him X, Y, and Z. So they told him ABC and the person that's coming to talk to you is like, that's not what you said the last time I talked to you. Or how the hell did you go from that to this? Or... And they were like, I fucking knew better. I knew you were fucking lying. I knew that person wouldn't do this. So now this group is falling apart from the inside. Could be uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra very highly involved. They're definitely facing challenges now because half the group really didn't want to go up against you to begin with. And half the group... Um, The, the part of the group that didn't want to go to get you to begin with, they're mad at themselves and at the group for this going down. And they want to now try and help you out somewhat. And the other half of the group that didn't care one way or the other, they're mad because they're not getting their money or they're not getting the promise that they were supposed, whatever they were promised they were going to get if they did this. So you've got this whole group fighting amongst itself. And whoever the liar is, they thought... They were going to be able to like throw you under the bus or piggyback off of you and um, get some kind of like leadership role in this group, whatever it may be. Move on. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time, it's over. Moving. <laughs> Change to residence, moving in with your partner. So, and open up your heart. There could be an air sign. The air sign could be like someone either you used to date or you used to be sexually active with. And this liar could be somebody else that this air sign is sexually active with currently. Um, and... The liar, obviously, you have some kind of intimate ties with them, so you've probably you probably have had sex with both these people. Um, whether you've dated them or not, I believe the liar you dated. You might not have dated the air sign. Um, but the air sign might be dating the liar now, or they just have a friends with benefits, like on the DL, like but this air sign's telling this liar to go get fucked and they're going to come talk to you and see if uh, they're going to gamble. They're going to take a risk and see if uh, by telling you the truth that you and you and them can get be intimate again or at least get uh, at least be friends again and like have a intimate relationship that could possibly go back into being a sexual relationship.
Somebody's losing a lot of money though, and that's that's one reason that they're that they're pissed off because they're they're losing a lot of money, and they didn't get what they were supposed to get or what they thought they were gonna get. There's definitely a married couple involved in this, and I think I think what it was is that love triangle, where and the uh, third party masculine is the one that lied and caused all this bullshit because somebody wanted. Somebody was jealous of the way someone else viewed somebody. And so they wanted to do whatever they could to de deframe, uh, assassinate this other person's character so that the person that, so basically you, they did everything they could to deframe and character assassinate your character so that whoever it was that was like interested or like, um, admiring you would stop admiring you and then start to look at them the way that they were looking at you and it didn't work someone's health someone's having health issues or they might health issues might arise because they've done a lot of black magic their intuition told them not to do it and now not only have they lost a lot of money They've lost respect from this group of people. They probably, if they actually were initiated as a member, they've been kicked out. Uh, they're getting a divorce. And this could be an earth sign. Or it could be an earth sign that wants to communicate to you about what an air sign was doing behind your back. So either you're an earth sign and there is an air sign that is attached to you and a liar and the air sign was admiring you and this liar couldn't stand it so they did everything they could to make you look bad and so the the air sign would look at them the way that they were looking at you or there's an earth sign that is attached to this liar and uh, air sign and uh, here's the I guess it could be I feel like the all three of the air signs came out in my zodiacs so I feel like there could be two predominant um, air signs be an Aquarius and a Gemini and one of them is the liar and one of them is a uh, is actually admiring you and they're really now that they don't want shit to do with the liar. Um, or it could be a Gemini and a Libra or someone's going to jail. Someone's name begins with an A or someone lives, goes to Anderson university, lives in Anderson, Indiana. Somebody's definitely going to jail for something they did to you. Could be an Aquarius too, with BA coming out. Life Path 9, May 8th, August 5th. But there's somebody who wants to call you and meet up with you and tell you what, tell you some, the reality some bullshit and, and really apologize to you. October 2nd, June 3rd. And I feel like there's one person that they ain't sorry. The only reason they're sorry is because they got caught. October 12th, Life Path 2, March 4th. So, somebody was just a mindless sheep. They wanted to be a part of the club. They wanted to be popular. They wanted to fit in. And they just went along with whatever. What They went the direction of the crowd. Um, and they actually, and I'm really getting that that person knew better. Like they, they knew that everything that was being done was unlawful, unjustifiable. And they knew it was wrong to do it. And they still did it just because they didn't want to fight the crowd. They wanted to be accepted by the crowd. April 3rd, August 2nd, May 3rd, 
Somebody's born in the year of the tiger. Somebody's born in the year of the pig. April 1st. 12 December 8th. 12 12. So December 12th. December 9th. Something significant happened last month. September 8th could be the birthday of someone that's born in the year of the tiger. And January 5th. But you are highly protected. Somebody's really sorry. I just miss you and I wish I could be a better man. Somebody's crying a lot. They're drinking a lot. And it kills them because they know they are 100% responsible for why that you're not in their life anymore. I was under a spell. You're the one that I love. Someone's name is Tito. Your family is involved. Your family is involved. It's time for your miracle. I saw your light and I was afraid to change. I was comfortable in my darkness. They lied about having COVID to go on vacation with their male lover. Friday, Iceland, Washington, who's the bitch now? Paris, May, stalker, and being with you is in, being in heaven, hope, and Mexico. Ah. Uh. I should have left a long time ago. Who needs you? I've got Mexico. Judas is in your circle. Let's travel the world together. Jordan, Sarah, Saturday. So I feel like there was a, a fake friend that you knew was a fake friend. And I think you probably even called him on it. Um, possibly even called him a bitch. Because you could just tell that they were trying to fucking do something behind, like, either sleep with your person, steal your person. Or they, they were trying to do something fucking dirtball to you, and you could you could see it. You just couldn't figure out quite uh, what they were doing. Or you already knew what, and you were told by God not to, to just walk, walk it out, that he would handle it. You couldn't run from this. It was just something that had to happen, and for all parties involved... And that he was with you and that you would reap as long as you stayed with him and did your best to be obedient to him and, and do what he told you to do, you would come out on top. Well, now this person is seeing that and either A, this person stole your, your, your person and they did get in a relationship behind your back. Um, and now your person woke up to how much of a, a psychotic bitch this person is and they disappeared on the, whoever this bitch is and um but for a while this person was like who's the bitch now like talking like to you because they felt like they were, they were they won because they were able to pull your person um somebody's name could be daniel but now because your person has went mia the the, the person that was a fake friend to you is stalking you heavily. They actually, I think they're, they're even being like investigated and they're being watched by the authorities because they've either, there's evidence of text messages, phone calls, something. There's some kind of evidence that this person is either has been or is right now in the curtain, like real time plotting and planning to do something very horrible and malicious to you. Someone's name could be Betty and they could be plotting on somebody named James. Jasmine. Keelan. Maine. Alabama. See, what I think, I mean, honestly, that's spelled as Maine as in the state, but I think some are Main Street. Somebody could live on Main Street. Uh, somebody's very empathic and someone has cursed themselves. Someone's name could be Mark. Um, but, oh wow, okay. It's good to know that that's all down there. Someone's name is Austin. And somebody's a wolf in sheep's clothing. But anyways, um, I think somebody convinced your person that 
and I'm bisexual, so maybe you and your person are same sex, and this stalker crazy bitch is the opposite sex, and they convinced your person that they should be the front person, like they, they should be in a relationship with them, and then sleep with you on the side, or whatever. Um, but because they, the, the two of them would look better to society and the public, um, that they should be in a, the relationship. And then whenever your person wanted to have intimacy with you, that they could go off and you and them could do it secretly. I don't know. But whatever they said, your person ate it hook, hook line and sinker. Why past seven? Someone is a duck, duck, goose. Uh, April 7th, those were on the ground, I didn't know it. Somebody's a drummer, or somebody's last name is a drummer. Somebody's a singer. So, music can be really significant. You guys can both be mu musicians. And trust no one, they were all involved. Someone's name is Kim. Someone's name is Robert. Someone's name is Luke. And someone's name is Amber. And Carter. I was embarrassed and jealous of you at the same time. That's why. That this one, Your person loves you, loved you. They were completely happy with you. But they were a little bit jealous of your gifts or your, um, your accomplishments or... They were jealous of something about you. And maybe it was just, maybe it's your light. But they were also embarrassed of the fact that you were the same sex. So they were embarrassed. They were still struggling with the fact. So even though you made them 100% happy and they really enjoyed being with you, they were struggling with the fact that they, they actually enjoyed being with you because of childhood religious upbringing. Or whatever. And then they were embarrassed of people finding out. Or to though, to like show you off to the world as theirs. Because they didn't know. They couldn't handle. They were embarrassed for people to know that you guys were in a sexual relationship. <clears throat> so whoever this was that got in their ear. They got in their ear hardcore. And your person jumped on the bandwagon. And did anything and everything to prove that they didn't give a fuck about you. And now they're crying because not only conclusions are within reach and adjustments are required. Something happened during the eclipse either last year or in 2022 because someone let pride get in their way. Somebody could be a Leo. Somebody now wishes they would have worked through their fears. Could be a Scorpio. Um, but this person never ever in a million years thought they would miss you as much as they do. The answers you need are coming, Gemini. So there could be a Gemini that's coming to tell you some shit. The energy is gaining momentum. Be bold and make the first move. So, Cardinal Moon. So Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, or Libra. So you, you could be one of those signs, or it could be one of those signs that's coming to tell you the truth about what happened. Believe in the impossible. Blue Moon. Somebody drinks blue moon, beer, blue moon beer or someone's favorite color is blue. Someone has a scorpion tattoo on their chest. And somebody really... Somebody's attached to somebody who is, I mean, batshit fucking capital, batshit crazy. Like, so even if, if you guys get together, as long as that other person's alive and knows where you're at, they're going to be close enough to be able to do anything that they would want to do, but far enough to where you don't know it. Bring it, bring love into the situation, Aquarius. So there could be an Aquarius that has had a change of heart. They could have been like, you know what I mean, like, burn the witch! And now they, it's not whatever's happened, now they actually, they're in love with you and 
they want to right their wrongs. So it could be an Aquarius coming to talk to you. I don't know, but something's about to change rapidly. Like it's I mean, almost like overnight. And I think you're going to be hella surprised on who it is that comes to talk to you and what they, and what they have to say. Someone's an Adele fan. Somebody could have even possibly named their kid Adele because of the, the artist. Somebody is an artist. Somebody is a Taurus. Wow. So there's a Taurus, possibly from your past, that you haven't spoken to in quite some time. And it, they're gonna, it'll be them that reaches out. Um, but they're an artist, a damn good one at that. Um, And I don't think you thought about this person in quite some time, or at least any thoughts of like having any um, communication with them or anything. Like this person probably lives at a distance from you, and I think you're gonna find that this person. See, someone. I feel like someone cursed you, and they cursed you. With, not, uh, they put a curse on you that you'd never find love, and that any man that ever like did like approach you or anything, it just would treat you like a piece of meat, uh, want to have sex with you, and then treat you like shit or whatever. Like that, no one would ever treat you or see you, and uh, see you for who you were, and actually be able to see your light and actually truly be in love with you. Um, and also, like a part of the curse is like. No single man would ever like approach you either. It would always be married men or men that had some kind of other obligation. I think whoever this Taurus is, you're going to find out they were married. Um, and that if, cause they might have told you they, they lived with their mom or their sister. It was actually their wife. <laughs> That's why you could never go to their house. <laughs> the lovers in reverse. So. This person could have rejected you and now they're heavily burdened because they've been awakened to who you are and the role you are supposed to play in their life and it's highly burdening, burdening, burdening them that they rejected you and treated you the way that they did because now they, they're in love with you and they don't know how or if they could even get you back. For one, they don't I don't think they know where you are. But they're trying to get the strength and maybe they are like trying to research you or track you down. Um Somebody could be in jail too because I have stripes on her and I got stripes on this person here. So somebody could definitely be in jail and when they get out of jail they'll they're gonna contact you. Somebody could live on the coast, live by the ocean. Somebody feels like they hung themselves. I hope nobody actually did it, but I did kind of feel that energy though. Or they got themselves caught up in, a, and then they're going to prison because there's no way to get out of it. There's too much evidence against them. Or somebody snitched on them one or the other.
but I'm not taking that, but this is crazy. I think I feel like you know a lot that I mean like and people are like astonished about how much you do know that you shouldn't know. But there's still some things that are gonna be coming out that are gonna be stranger than fiction. That's stranger than what you already know. And it's just like the way the reasons of how and why these people are connected. Gino Spot. Gino Jennings is really significant. Knight of Pentacles. Someone's coming to offer you something and they, this could be someone that you ain't even talked to in three years, four years. So this Taurus is home hour. It doesn't even have to be a Taurus, but I feel like for someone it is. But it might have been three, four years since last you had any interaction with them. Uh, and they've been sitting on the feel, their feelings, sitting on this offer, whatever, there's something that someone's coming to talk to you about that they've been like going back and forth for a couple of years, whether or not they should, they should talk to you about this. It's your emperor. And it's because they know that you guys are tied to each other's destinies. And that the only way to tap into you're full of abundance and actually walk in your life's purpose and your best life is by being attached to each other. Or at least that's what they think. But I, I the Emperor coming out, I think I, I I think that's the truth. This is someone that you were meant to your destinies were meant to be tied together. Um and maybe this person like I said, whoever this is, they rejected you. Like, whenever you guys were in each other's lives. And I definitely believe you you put an offer on the table and they, they rejected it. Or they ignored you until you just took the hint. Which is still rejection, but they... Because <laughs> no choice is a choice. And uh, so instead of making one, they just stopped talking to you and... You just finally got, like, hey, okay, well, obviously, it's a no. But now, however long it's been since that transpired, now this person has realized who you are, how valuable you are, like, and the, your worth, and how beautiful you are, and how much they really wish they could have seen it back then. And for whatever reason, they thought that you were a bomb or... That you were going to mooch off of them. They didn't see the fact that you actually are a hardworking, independent, self-sufficient person who is goal-oriented, motivated, driven, passionate, and a very good partner, like on all levels, that they, you guys could achieve anything together. And they finally see it. Someone could have had a near-death experience, or someone could have lost somebody they truly love, and... And having to grieve that person, it's made him realize how short life is, how every moment is precious, and every moment you spend ignoring a person or your feelings or an opportunity is a moment that you're wasting. Someone could have had a child die, and my apologies, and I, my, my condolences, but... I really feel like somebody could have had a child die. I mean. Or something that somebody repressed. A childhood trauma that somebody repressed. It 
is the memories coming back to them, and it's 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 kind of it sent them into a fucking a rude spiritual awakening. Um, but something somebody was so traumatized by as a child, they repressed it and forgot about it. And now, 30 years later, 40 years later, this memory is coming out of nowhere. And um, it sent this person straight into a spiritual awakening. So somebody could be having a rebirth and being completely healed from a childhood trauma that they didn't even remember they had. Like, And maybe your, your presence, your friendship, your love, your, your words, your, your, something about knowing you, the, you, because they knew you, this, they're experiencing a second chance at life because they're finally healing a part of themselves that's been dead since their whole, their, basically their whole life. That's a little kid. It's going to be something something that happened to somebody when they were about three or four years old. And literally that part of them has been dead their entire life. But because of you and your friendship and the love and the bond that you guys shared, they, they're getting completely restored and renewed and going through a real genuine rebirth. And somehow they know it and they want to come and give you flowers for it. They are very, they're very, they've been humbled and they're very grateful This person really, there's no words for how much this person loves you and how much they almost idolize you and put you on a pedestal and, and they know that that's, it's dangerous, but that's how much you mean to this person because you really did, whether it was just you being you, something you said, something you did, but you, this person is going to have a very Beautiful future because they knew you. And, I mean, give, give the glory to God because it, it was God. Like, he knew how to get you guys together. He brought you guys into each other's lives for a reason. And it very well could be this... Yeah. Somebody... Somebody really got your back, and you you don't even think this person. You probably don't even think this person likes you. And this person going through hell and high water to to defend your honor. Somebody's name is Luke. Somebody's name is Stacy. Lorraine. Power in reverse. So there's somebody else in this group that just refused to change. And just... And refused to give up until they want. They wanted to win at all costs. And... Well... Now they're about to see how expensive the price of being a heartbreaker, a liar, an emotional manipulator. They're about to, they're about to pay the cost are pay the price of what they've been doing their entire life like using like getting people to fall in love with them and then using them until they expelled all resources and then just disappearing and ghosting them this person could have done this to you um but even if they didn't do it to you, they've done it to several people. And using I love you to to get people to, to love them when they knew damn well they, were, they weren't capable of loving whoever they were trying to schmooze. But um, this person would use love as a weapon, use sex as a weapon. And they knew exactly what they were doing and they, they got off on it. Well... They finally met their match. <laughs> God finally sent somebody in, and it could have been you. But this person, 
is going through a tower in the reverse because of the fact that they they weaponized and demonized love, the greatest source in the entire universe. Love, all you need is love. <laughs> I don't care what happens to me. I will never, ever give up on love uh, because it is the source of all life. Love is what sparks life. And um, this person knew it, they used it, they abused it, and they even demonized the greatest source of power. And now God, God was merciful, God had grace and mercy to this person, but they just kept going and they wouldn't, they wouldn't stop. No matter how many warnings, no matter how many good people that God brought into this person's life to try and show this person the light and show them the way out of the darkness that they were in. The person just kept going, kept going, kept going. And now they're going in a tower, uh, through a tower in reverse. An ego death. And it could be. That's what it could be. Because this person knew you. God brought you in as like the last attempt to get this person to open their eyes. And the person wouldn't open their eyes until after they had given you the ultimate betrayal. But the minute that this person decided or stuck that last, that tenth sword in your back, it's like they, God gave them a revelation or an epiphany and they knew at that moment that you were who you said you were and that choosing to betray you was the biggest mistake of their life. And now they're paying heavily for it. And they're missing the fuck out of you because now they're in love with you. They've been, they know that you guys have spent more than one life together. You guys are twins. You are soulmates. You're very wise and they're being enlightened to why you guys were brought into, I mean, they're being enlightened to the fact that you were, you are the true, their true empress and they chose an empress in reverse over you because of what other people said. Because even in their heart, I guess, even before they did whatever it was that caused the tower to uh, fall, they didn't. They knew they had love for you, but it wasn't enough for them to <laughs> fall on their knees like now it is. Um, but they chose, because of pride, ego, and greed, they chose someone who looked better on their arm or who their family and friends thought was more appropriate. And I don't even think that that was really the reason why the tower fell. The tower fell because not only did they do that and break your heart, they continued to slander you, steal from you. Like They continued to try and destroy you and you had never done anything to them but love them. And I just miss you, and I wish you could be a better man. Nine of Wands. This person this is definitely somebody who could turn the pants off of anybody. It's somebody fun to be around. Um... Now, granted, they obviously had the dark side, but this is somebody who wore a mask and they wore it well. But it's, I think it's one of the reasons why they hated you or resented you, because you saw right through the mask. It was like, with you, they weren't even wearing one. And now they want to defend themselves for partying with your enemies and betraying you. Somebody, like, somebody's got a health issue. Um, and it could just be, like, overindulging in alcohol and drugs. But I think somebody's drinking so much that they're throwing up. And they're throwing up to the point of where they're throwing up, like, stomach acid. Like, that green neon, like, 
there ain't nothing left in you, but you, your body's still tr trying to like eradicate the uh, the poison. This person is experiencing this, experiencing this on a very regular basis now, and I think they're blacking out a lot too. And it, it's because they know they fumbled you. Everything they ever wanted, and they let someone else lie. They played Russian roulette with with your connection. And they bet on black and purple won. Or when the gun got around to them and it was their turn to pull the trigger, the bullet was in the chamber. Somebody, if you're alone with a gun, Please, go check yourself in somewhere. Do not do it. And I really feel like someone... Someone's going to... Someone's... There is a Judas here. Judas is in your circle. The card came out. And... Judas... Did what he did. And... Then he couldn't live with it, and he killed himself. So I feel like that's going to play out in the scenario, and I really, really, I really hope it doesn't. But that's, and I've been getting that for like two years now. I did a reading on my other channel, like before someone stole my phone, and like I had to restart, start over. But there's a reading on my other channel where that's exactly what I got. There was three main culprits that went up and started this war against you, and the one that was Judas is going to kill themselves. The one that either Peter or Paul was going to jail and the other one was actually going to back out and do the right thing and, and tell the truth. Bring light to the situation and people were going to finally see the truth about you and the truth about what these people were doing to you. And you were going to be vindicated and you were going to get victory. And well, the one that actually turned around and like did the right thing and helped you get justice... King of Pentacles is actually your emperor. And because they chose to do the right thing and they, even though they led you out to pasture because they, in time, they changed their mind and went back and did everything they, they may have left you out there, but they came back and got you. And that was enough to save the both of you. And I feel like that's why you haven't been able to figure out who the Judas is, who the Paul is, and who Peter is. Because nothing can be manipulated and nothing can be... Everyone has to make all their choices through without manipulation. They have to make them from a point of free will. They have to choose it. Because they choosing it with their heart and they're doing it from a pure place. So that's why a lot of things have been hidden from you. Because if you would have known something, you might have wanted to go in and try and manipulate or change it. Or stop somebody from killing themselves. Or stop somebody from, you know what I mean? Like, And this was a very important karmic cycle that was everyone was being tested. And everyone was being watched. And everyone had to make their choices from a pure, unmanipulated place because they were being judged on it. And so, if people knew certain things, there's a good possibility that they would, out of love, rush in to try and tell somebody, hey, this or hey, that, or, you know what I mean, like, don't do this or don't do that. And there's just certain things that People had to make their choice on their own. You couldn't, you couldn't save them. Or, I mean, nobody could, like, but the only way for the universe <clears throat> to be balanced out, everyone who was involved to be, their lives to be balanced out and the situation to be restored to the proper 
restoration for all involved is nobody could certain choices and certain certain people had to make certain choices with their their own intellect and their own heart everyone's heart was being judged and sometimes you've just got to trust God trust the process and know that everything is going to work out for you and your highest good and and wait <laughs> as much as that sucks because <laughs> waiting can really really drive you insane because uh, but that's a part of it though it's testing your faith it's growing your faith it's growing your your relationship with God um, and I, in a lot of ways that's the point I still remember every detail of that day it kills me when I probably got in the way I would have I would do anything to take back what I, the things I did to you I really really miss you you are a queen I can't wait to see your name and shining lights and I really miss you it's not written on my card it just that came out like through channeling W Warren someone's last name is Warren or someone has a warrant out for their arrest or someone lives in Warren, Indiana Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio S someone lives in the Southwest so Texas, Arizona uh, Nevada New Mexico or someone is flying Southwest Airlines to come see your ass M Paid my friend to watch you and he fell in love. You're not crazy. I'm using my power to sabotage everything in your life to force you to come back to me. I know it's insane, but it's the only way I know to get you back. I miss you so much. Someone's nickname is Small Fry. Two. MK Ultra, I really do think there's a that the M MK Ultra is tied to all this that I've been doing readings on my entire the whole time I've been doing this. Why? Why? Wyoming? Wyoming significant? My two sons. So someone's father is involved in this. Dodge. Rick Ross could be significant. Puff the Magic Dragon. I'm childish, petty, and vindictive. I did sleep with all of them out of spite. My ego was bruised, and I wanted to, you to hurt because I was. Someone's name is Mary. Throw people shit. Yeah. Somebody, I think somebody was pretty high up in the food chain when it came to the drug trafficking, uh, drug trafficking, and they abused the power because they would basically get people who were strung out on crack or meth or whatever to do their bidding. And use the drug to get it. Like, hey, you want? I'll give you a ball if you go and just flatten somebody's tires, or you go and you rob somebody's house, or whatever. I'll give you this much drugs if you do this for me. And they really did a number on a community of people. Someone drives a BMW, black, blue, or white. In Nina Simone is significant. D. If I come to you and offer you what you deserve, my family will disown me, and I can't decide if I can handle losing them, but I know you're worth it. This ain't build a bitch. 
So like literally someone coaxed and seduced and turned your person against you and they literally tried to turn that person into you and this ain't build a bitch. The gift of healing comes from within. Somebody's finally decided to do turn the gaze within and do the, the inner healing. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone's 52 years old. Den, Dennis, someone's name is Dennis, Gemini, Gemini Libra, and Aquarius, P, Pins, dip, Depends, somebody, uh, either somebody is geriatric and they wear Depends because they're old and they have to, or somebody is into some really freaky shit and they wear adult diapers, like, as a part of a sexual fetish, and somebody... Somebody's a fair weather friend. Their mood depends on who they hang out with or how, whether or not they like you. Uh, and somebody else, pin. The pin. Everyone's, every one of this group's been in the pin. Or the, the key players have been in prison. And that's how they met. This is all, this fucking spider web of fucking ridiculousness and broke people's shit and this spider web of evil motherfuckers it all is through the penitent, the penitentiary. Two of your exes, they were fucking, um, they were bunkies. Two of your ex exes spent a fucking cell together. Like they were cell block mates in prison. And the one ex was talking about you or whatever and I think the person that you didn't know like when your ex was monkeys with them I think they fell in love with your ex but your ex basically made them hate you because of how much they talked about you and they wanted that person to talk about them the way that they talked about you and this made this person hate you before they even met you um, But and that was the whole reason they fucking sought you out when they got out of prison It was like almost like a, or your ex could have asked them to do it so that, that they could report back and give, give your person, their DL lover, um, a lens. Your person had no way of s s spying on you or whatever. So they asked their little prison bitch to be their lens so that, or somebody's name is Lindsay. But they wanted to basically for them to 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 date you, feign a relationship with you, just so that they could tell all your information, send it back to your ex. Somebody's name is Nelson. Are Willie Nelson significant? Eight. Somebody's life path eight, or someone's born August fifth. Or someone's born in 1985. Lindell is significant. Darnell is significant. Jay. Janelle. Jelly. Someone's jealous of you. Jen, someone's name is Jennifer. DJ, somebody's name is DJ or JD. Three, someone's born in 1983. I paid him to kill you, not marry you. Talk about a backfire, what the fuck? Someone's 35 years old. Someone's into men and women. Oh, my sexual card came out earlier, but I just saw men and women, and that's what it made me think of. Let's 
someone's born in a yin year. Someone is about to win. Someone's name is Ben. Someone has a lien on their house. Hen. Someone's a mother hen or um, someone's a fucking chicken head. Someone's baby daddy is a chicken head. And they're shitty because they got kids with the chicken head that... <laughs> I'll stop. I really need to talk to you. It's about my health. The bitch tricked me. She only wanted to meet so you couldn't have me. She's fucking nuts. She actually did plot and plan to kill you. Shin, shin splint, somebody's an athlete, BDSM, someone's in the bondage, she, shim, someone is a transgender, You were the best thing that ever happened to me. I say mean things to project the pain, but I know I'm the one to blame. Someone's a dishwasher. <clears throat> Him. Someone's, someone's in the church choir. Southampton is significant. I slept with your sister and her pussy stinks. It was the biggest mistake of my life. Somebody has three different baby daddies. New Hampshire is significant. Massachusetts. New England in general is significant. Someone's born in 1982. Someone's someone tried to pin a baby on somebody, and the bitch, the best she could do is get it down between three men. And the one she tried to pin it on, it's not, it's not theirs. Eleven, December, November second, nineteen eighty-five is significant. Someone's a Mason, or someone's name is Mason, or someone drinks out of Mason jars. T and D, T and D Auto. The three witches, warlocks, are about to learn their lesson. They already wish they hadn't come for you. You are the baddest bitch. Matt Hearn, Aries Leo Sag, your false twin flame is born in 1974, May 11th, Life Past 6, somebody can be 62 years old or somebody's born in 1962 or 63, somebody's 26 years old. Brooklyn Thomas, Tyrone Nixon, someone's going to hell, a man, there's a man that's either 62 years old or there's a man that's born in 1962 that's on his way to hell. 
Hurting you gives me pleasure. I'm sick and twisted and it, I'm sick and twisted and I love it. So somebody gets off on hurt, hurting you. Somebody else wants to mend the relationship with you though. So somebody else could be protecting you from this person that gets off hurting you. Something's been going on for eight years. Miami is significant. Somebody was never your friend. They smiled in your face. They they drank with you. They laughed with you. They partied. They probably, you guys probably had sex. You thought they were your ride or die and they didn't give a fuck about you from day one. Because they are a fucking big dick fucking bisexual sex drug addict who will fuck anything and everything that will benefit either their wallet or their drug addiction. Take it easy, guys.